What is up? What's happening? What's going on, YouTube? The, the, the mechanics. So, um, as you guys know. The 240 has not ran since the last track event. It's actually been sitting here since the last track event. I think it was February something something. I don't know, but I actually got a little motivation to actually work on it. And by motivation, I mean a little bit of money just a little bit not a lot just a little bit so we're gonna see what we can do right now i'm going to go ahead and take off my wheels my racing hearts and i'm gonna redo them the original plan was to get some like four maybe five inch lips all the way around but what i'm gonna go ahead and do is redo the wheels make them look fresh make them look real steezy and then, you know, they're three piece. So what I'm gonna do later on after they're done is order some lips. And what I'm gonna do is unseal the wheel and then put the new lips on and reseal it again. New tires all the way around, whoop de woo And we're gonna go from there. So basically all today is is me grabbing a couple of things off the 240 so i can make them look nice and powder coat them other than that um the homie corey is going to be bringing me an engine stand this weekend hopefully so with that being said i get to bust down the engine and spun rod both of the both of the engines have spun rods so now i get to rebuild that engine put new rods in I don't know if I'm going to put piston rings in yet, depending on how well the uh, the piston looks, because theoretically you don't have to put, so if you drop down the crank, you can slide uh, piston, you can spin, you could, you could, rod caps, you could put rod caps on the piston and then put the crank back in and then you know, you're good, your rod bearings are good. So theoretically, I don't have to take those out. I will be changing the head gasket, probably get the head tanked, I don't know. The main goal is the rod bearings. Um, other than that, yeah, just uh, basically try to make some things look good. So originally, this was a valve cover I was running. I have a new valve cover done, well, off the other engine that's already powder coated. Uh, new color. I basically want to do stitch welding all the way around. That's my goal. And then after that, probably paint the engine bay. Now I'm undetermined. I think I'm do black with a whole bunch of flake on the engine bay color. I'm not a hundred percent sure yet, but I'm going to be taking off most of the brackets, trying to get those powder coated. Let me see. I don't think I'm going to relocate my battery or my fuse box. Just clean up some of the wires in the engine bay. Not tucking the brake lines, not doing none of that jazz, but so far that's the plan. So let's go ahead and get cracking. I'm about to take the wheels off, put the Inky 92s back on. I totally forgot that I had Inky 92s. Four of them too. Totally forgot. Those need to get powder coated ASAP. Probably gold. Gold sounds nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and get these wheels off. All right, so she's off. Back to the Inky 92s. Crazy thing is, these Johns is like, they not mint, but they not far from being mint. Like I can clean these up real well. So let's get a, there she is. That's how she looks. 
Still got body work to do to this over fender and the other door needs to be wrapped. The front bumper's trash from hitting it so much. These fenders are screwed off, whatever. So, I can take the intake manifold off and I can get this Cerakoted, make this real nice heat resistant. Same with the headers, the header. I'm gonna take those off and get those Cerakoted as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this intake off and get this looking pretty decent these need to come off um these right here my windshield wipers they're gonna get a little steeziness to them other than that i can't really see too much that i want to actually take off and try to improve probably just gonna start there eventually take the engine out without the transmission there's nothing wrong with the transmission take the engine out and go from there but for now just the intake and the windshield wiper blades that's all we're going to take off all right so it's dark i got the parts that i want to take with me wheels uh radiator brackets intake and trim molding so i'm gonna go ahead and get those all done and so this video is not short i'm probably gonna take you guys on the journey with me through the wheel process so this isn't like a three minute video or what have you but i will in this section of the video with saying stay tuned uh I'm a little bit motivated. Stay with me while I'm motivated because uh, every blue moon and when it goes down, it goes down. So stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Obviously, it's one video, so but stay tuned to the build. Jesus Christ. So I'm finally back at the 240. And as you can see, freshly powder coated cocker. What you think? Mm -hmm. That's nice. It is nice. Now it's gonna be like the newest looking thing on the car. <laughs> Where you gonna put it? Where it goes. Where do we go? A key. Oh, this is just the first of many. That's how it go. Oh, I know I got something you might like. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know what these is. 
You know what these is. Don't you need them on that car and not on this car? That car don't run them. The what? Huh? What? So I'm going to drive this when it rain and then because they got working windshield wipers. Mm-hmm. But they're not working too good because they're in your hand. What? That's why I'm about to put them on. I mean, the car don't even run, so that's a first. But they nice, though. They are. They are. The second nicest well, thing. get them all dirty. Well, they're about to be sitting again. Well, don't let them know. Oh, there's something them on there yet. Why not? I got to put them on there so I don't lose them. No, I have a spot if you don't want to put them on right now. You got a spot for that thing? No. So this is what we're working with right here. This is wrinkle black and it looks so fantastic. We got zinc hardware holding that down. Basically how the whole engine bay is going to be looking. This right here is all powder. Powder wrinkle black, powder wrinkle black. These are how these are going to look. This looks incredibly filthy. No worries. Once I wash the car, it's going to look way better. I don't know what this is. But yeah, anything that's metal, all my brackets that I can take off that are metal and I can break down to like the actual just base, base metal will actually get powder coated, wrinkled black, and a couple of things might actually get painted wrinkled black. The durability of like paint wrinkled black is trash compared to powder coating wrinkled black. So if I can wrinkle black it powder coat, I'd rather do that instead. But it looks so gorgeous. Unfortunately, so check this out. I'm putting these parts back on the car just so I don't lose them. So the intake is going back on, I'm not button it down because the couplers are trash, incredibly trash. So in theory, if I put it everything back together, I can't lose anything and I remember how things go just in case this is an actual long process. But the plan is to actually start working on this, like I said, so I'm trying to keep things moving. The wheels did not get done in this video, unfortunately. I ran out of time being that I did these instead of worked on the wheels. The wheels are like 36 bolts each wheel. And then I have to take, so it's three, three pieces. Each wheel is three pieces. Two pieces are getting uh, acid stripped and then they'll get powder coated. But in the time being, this is what we're working with. Um, yeah, stay tuned, okay? Hey, listen, I'm, I'm, like Ma said, she got a little space. She ain't got enough for the engine, but she got a little space. I got the engine at my apartment. That one's ready to buzz down. That's the original engine out of here. Not the original engine, but the original engine when I got the car. So that one's at my apartment. That one's gonna get busted down, see if I can actually rebuild that one. If it's within spec, it will get done. I'm just waiting on the engine stand. Other than that, yeah, we're gonna keep things pushing. Um, I'm gonna clean this thing. It's gonna get, it's gonna get the treatment. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, come back. Okay, come back. With this being said, peace. I'm gone. The mechanics.